every time I try to make a video, there's a plane, there's a siren, there's something. Ginger, the big six, the 87, and the Bluick? Why is the 87 in the driveway? At a quick glance, you wouldn't notice anything. I had taken the car around and I once went over to XJO 81X and I parked there and he was doing sod in front of his house and uh, I was there all day and then uh, I had noticed there were a couple of drips under this thing. I didn't think much of it, but I said, uh, it looks like it might be coolant if it's anything. That sure was. That's a brand new radiator. And yes, I know the cap is backwards and crooked. That is because the new radiator is made in China, and that's how it goes on. Uh, we had the cap the other way, but it didn't want to... It was crooked that way, so we put it this way, and i got to open it and check it to top it off anyway. So that's temporary, but it will always be slightly crooked just because the old radiator is here, and... This had 60-something thousand on it, but it's a made in China radiator, and it's rusty and something or other, and I really didn't like this here. See how the crimping is like out? Didn't like that, but it was leaking from the bottom over here. There was a hairline crack in it. Um, that only when the system was under pressure would it start leaking and then it would start there was like a little geyser that would just come out so uh, you know my dad's getting old and he ordered a new radiator for it which came he had it shipped here and he came out today and he's like I, uh, I haven't been sleeping well and I had a shit night last night and everything's terrible uh, I don't think I can help you with this. I said, what do you mean? He says, I can't physically do it today. Like, I, it's, I don't know, it's, it's starting to, like, mess with my mind. That my father's getting to that age where he's starting to get fucked up. And that's really the odd part about it. So I said, well, I mean, how hard could this really be? There's a couple of bolts and a couple of clamps and shit like that. Now... The problem was, when I was a kid, I always said, Daddy, let me do it, let me do it, you know. But maybe I was too young or something, but he never handed me the wrench for fear I was going to strip out a bolt or something. But he'd ask me to hand him tools. So, uh, hand me the yellow screwdriver, give me the orange pliers, something, whatever it was. And I used to. But now we switched roles. And he was the tool getter. And I changed this entire radiator myself. The only thing I really remember him doing was putting the upper hose on, the overflow tube. We did have to take out the overflow bottle, which meant that we had to take these two bolts out. And he did it that. That was pretty much the extent of what he did. And the rest I had to do. <laughs> and he sat there. I gave him a chair and he sat down and that was that. Brand new shiny radiator. The fans transfer over. One of the bolt holes on the new radiator were different, uh, different type of bolt. So I could not put that in. And we had to leave one bolt out. This fan has three mounts. This one has four. Fortunately, it was one of these. So there's only three bolts holding it because... I didn't have a bolt that fit this Chinese knockoff radiator or whatever. But to make matters more fun, there's a hose with a clamp down there. That's a transmission hose. And just up there is another one. And those go into the radiator as well. So those had to come off. So I changed those over and the lower hose, and the upper hose, even the little drain tube on the petcock, there was a little drain tube. 
transferred that over. And oh, he also put the radiator in the car, which was actually a little trickier than you might think, just to get everything lined up. But I was underneath and guiding the two pins in to get everything seated. That was a little bit of a, a hassle, but we got it. It wasn't a big deal. And then we put this pink foam in here because it was rattly-ish because the whole car is not straight. In fact, you could see, see that metal thing, not this lip, but down in there is a metal thing and it disappears. Yeah, because this is pinched and not just, it's not straight and it's totally wrong and it's totally off from the 3,000 times it was hit. But uh, that was it. So I successfully changed the radiator, which was something that I could never claim ever doing because it was not a, it was not a thing that um, I was ever really allowed to do. Fucking Chitalian, can you believe this? But anyway, we got this all in and uh, filled her up with coolant, let it run, let the thermostat open, topped it up, put the heat on in the car, let it run, radiator fans came on and off, it did everything it's supposed to, and ah, uh, not too bad, not too bad. So that was certainly an experience that I've never had before. Uh, it was not hard, but it's just accessibility, just getting to certain things. Cats don't interrupt videos like that. So anyway, it's all in and it all works just fine. Of course, there's some casualties along the way. I got to clean the driveway. This looks like transmission fluid. And under the car is I got to move it out and clean that and all that wonderful stuff that goes along with it. And that, but uh, she runs once again. It was really more of a sudden thing because my dad really doesn't drive the car. And then when he did, or gave it to me to drive, it said, hey, I've been waiting all winter for this. And that's when the radiator took a shit. Hairline crack, because they're plastic, you know? So, hairline crack at the bottom, but like I said, that radiator did not look too good. And like I said, it was got 60 something thousand on it, which is not a lot, but for a Chinese radiator, maybe it's enough. So it was just a strange thing where we switched roles and he would hand me the tools and I was doing the work instead. Uh, it was just fucked with my mind. It's, it's starting to really scare the shit out of me. There was another time um, a few weeks ago where my dad said, uh, can you bring your gas powered hedge trimmer over? I need to trim the hedges. And I thought that was a little odd. Maybe he thought it would cut more bigger stuff or something. So I brought that and he said, here, we got to trim this stuff. So I started the thing up and I said, well, I don't know how much I could really use this thing because of my back. And I ended up trimming all of the hedges. And then we went in there and we were cutting big branches and shit with a, with a saw. And, and shears, uh, whatever, loppers and things like that. We were cutting branches and shit off and really cleaned it up. And it scared me, the fact that I kind of had to do the hedges for my dad. <sighs> I mean, he's going to be 70 in October, I think. Yeah. Um, but it just scared the piss out of me. It was just fucking weird. And today we had the same thing where I changed the radiator and he handed me the tools. But anyway, while he was here, I said, you know, we got to get the brakes done on the Bluick here and that. And fortunately, just, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, somebody wasn't home. So I said, yeah, I got a couple things with the Buick. Obviously, you know about the brakes. But also the wipers, 
yeah um, that's not gonna work and I need that to get an inspection which expired in 2020 um, right <laughs> so <laughs> you know it's it's all that fun like that so anyways I forget when I made the video I think it was April or something when I started this and found that the brakes didn't work. Incidentally, when you go to the auto parts store, they sell you the whole arm here. I need just the rubber inserts. And I think I found them online because when you go to the store, they don't have those. They have just the entire arm that they make you buy now. So anyway, uh, if anybody has any information about this type of where you can get these rubber inserts and that, I found it on Amazon, but you got to cut your own to size, I think. So if anybody knows anything or can tell me some information, I did have somebody who told me some information already, but I said that, and here, let me just show you the brakes, Dad. So I open the door, and I get in, and I go to step on the brake, Say what? It works? And I said, this is really strange. I put the key on to see if the brake light would come on. It does if I hit the parking brake there. But the brakes are working. But you hear that? They don't feel right and like I said I think it's been April since I last started it I whacked the go pedal four times turned the key four seconds of cranking she fired right up now it is a hot day so you got that and we had boost you know vacuum assist and the brakes now magically seem to work so now I'm scared because I can't just drive this and have the brakes just fucking go out out of nowhere um really fucking weird and if this bitch weren't fucking home i'd turn the key but it's a hot start now anyway because i just had it running before um but fuck what is the deal why do they just work now i even put it in gear and it didn't move it held i didn't drive it i didn't test it too scared to do that still gonna tow it in but what the fuck it works now there's pressure it's holding it's doing what it's supposed to bad master cylinder I don't know but anyway that was just a little bonus about it but like I said the main issue there's another plane up, up there yeah it was the 87 blew its radiator and I was the one who had to replace it. Really fucked with my mind. But anyway, it's got a new radiator. So $60 for a radiator was not bad online. And uh, most of my morning. And the one thing I did get, which is something that you can't put a price tag on, is experience. So yeah, it was work to have to do it. But it was worth it in the end because now the car is just fine. I gotta move it out, clean the driveway and everything else. Big truck. And that's it. So I'll stop rambling now. I thank you very much for watching. Just a, a weird twist of events where he was the tool getter and I did the work. Very strange. Anyway, it's got a new radiator. It works. Brakes work on the Bluick. Don't know why not going to drive it till they get looked at and that's it so thanks so much for watching make sure you click like make sure you click subscribe and take care we'll see you next time bye bye have the car pulled out of the driveway now and I'm cleaning everything up it leaks oil
these are coolant stains and there's some grass in that and I don't know what these are maybe from the big six I don't think it's leaking not much if anything but I gotta sweep that but I came over here this is not what the bottle says it's LA is totally awesome and just as another testament I already sprayed that this is definitely transmission fluid take a look look at that come up it just hits it and it comes up unreal so I'm just gonna soak all this down coming up here you can see all the orange so I'm gonna soak everything down spray with the hose hit it again all that great stuff and finish cleaning up here so just a little bonus to that not this stuff but the LA is totally awesome this is that same spray bottle that I had that video on you know spray bottle not spraying try this trick still have it and I still do the same trick where you squeeze the bottle till it squirts out and then it sprays made a fucking killing on that video but yeah just another testament to that and that's why I keep this sprayer in service because it still works and I'm willing to live with that look at that come up just amazing and then you just flush it all out oh another funny thing that happened some passers-by were walking and while well, I had this running earlier when my dad was here and they said what year what year I said 67 they said man that sounds great whatever and the other guy that was there said that thing's older than me I said it's older than me too and my dad shouts out yeah but does your exhaust sound as good he says I don't know man <laughs> it's <something that's, laughs> hilarious take a look at this Here's an area I sprayed. Open the nozzle up. A little more. There we go. Look at it just come right off. It's going to need maybe a second application. But certainly took it right up. Look at that. Pretty friggin' amazing. So I sprayed down any spots in the driveway and I'm just gonna wash this down really good. I got by with a little help from my solar drain. I got by with a little help from my solar drain. Yeah, that was nice because helped me flush the driveway out. I used the hose for a while, I got tiring, so I said time to break out the big guns. So I put a little extension pipe on there and just shot her out. There was definitely a spot here. Nope. Maybe a tiny bit there. Hit that one more time. The rest is clean. Two spots that were here. Obviously everything's wet still, but not really. It's just dirty and needs to be power washed. The oil needs a little more soaking. Oil spots there. And I just washed everything else down. This is as good as it's going to get till I'm going to power wash it, which might be years. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that LA is totally awesome. Indeed is. Totally, totally awesome. That could use one more application. I still see a little bit there. I'm going to flood that with water, but 90% of it is gone. Beautiful. Okay, that officially is the end. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.